Well, hello. Irene Smith here. And today we are at a new version of the property Cabin in the Woods or Wood Cabin or anyway. I actually tore the whole thing down and built a new home. Why did I do that? I, I think I've mentioned this before. The fact that we don't have uh, empty lots in House Flipper 2 is my reason for wanting to tear down a house and build a new one rather than build in the sandbox mode. I like sandbox mode. It's fun. You have an unlimited budget. You can build whatever you can imagine. But I guess I've been a gamer too long. I like having a score. And the only way you can get a score, <clears throat> a rating of how you did on a certain project, is to do it in story mode. And that's what I've done here. I've torn down the house and you'll notice that I actually put a roof on this building. I've got lots of other things to show you as well, but I think I want some daylight and we certainly need some light in this room. But for now, I chose the cabin in the woods, by the way, because it has a cellar. And I thought that would be fun. Got a light here for us. We're going to go over to the bed and we are going to... Oh, that's new. I don't want evening. I don't want noon. Let's sleep until morning. I like that new graphic. Okay. Okay, how does it get lighter in here? There's no windows, not a single one. Oh, well, doesn't matter, I guess. Let's go. This is the upstairs. You can see we've got a nice kitchen. And I have some things to do still. Um, Got a bookcase over here. We've got a very old picture of my son with his nephews and um, when I tell you that the older of those two little boys is now old enough to drive a car you'll know how long it's been we'll go outside on the porch we've got some chairs and I put some my mother actually had on her front porch when I was a teenager, flower pots like this. <clears throat> I'm sorry, today is one of those days. Voice wise. Anyway, she had pots like that on either side of the door. They were actually up on the porch. But I think it looks nice here on the uh, right in front with the steps. And by the way, these are not steps from the game, they were actually built with bricks. instead so that they're well permanent and around here is something that's really cool and new in the game we now have hot tubs and this is one of them now i built the stand that it's on and i'm still having a lot of trouble in maybe even in more than in the other game with grass growing through things but I'm sure they'll get that changed eventually. It's a little bit not so great. And that is one thing that you can do in sandbox mode that you cannot do in story mode, and that's edit the grass. Anyway, I made sure to have uh, plenty of lights out here, and I probably am going to do a bit more for the garden. We've got a bench over here. 
we've got a little garden area here with some roses and some hyacinth, I think, some mint. And, oh, yes, we've got a little friend here. This There was a, a little guy like this in House Flipper 1, and when you did an English garden, one of the things that was almost required was a gnome, a garden gnome. So now we have a garden gnome in House Flipper 2. I love the path here. I'd love to be able to put down dirt as we were able to in House Flipper 1. And I'm sure they'll get to that eventually. But I think that would be cool. Or, or stone or whatever. Anyhow, I think this porch looks good. And again, the stairs are uh, made with bricks rather than uh, stairs that are components in the game. We've got some we've got some chairs here and I'm probably gonna add some stuff to that. Oh and by the way, the switch will turn off all the lights. In here we've got a nice living room area. We've got um the stove and some counter space so we can you can sit and have a nice breakfast here I'm not sure maybe I should have had the stove inside but we could we can rearrange things later and this is one of the newer pieces it's a tall oven so that's interesting and as I was saying, the cellar is downstairs. And I know I showed it to you already. Uh, but through this door is a bathroom with a nice tub and a sink and a toilet and all the goodies. So really, basically, on this property, what I have left to do is a final decoration pass. And then we'll sell it. I have at least one other property that I want to show you today. Uh, it's another case where I tore down a house and replaced it with a new one. And the property, the second property we're going to look at is called the Sunny Bungalow. And when Malzi and I were first talking about doing a uh, Mother's Day build, a contest. Um, we had said we were going to tear down the sunny bungalow and build something new. So I got as far as tearing it down. And then um, someone else who was going to participate in the contest and ultimately did not said that they would prefer if we did it in uh, sandbox mode. So we switched over to the sandbox. And I never did build anything on the Sunny Bungalow property. So I finally did that, and I'm going to show it to you today. So let me do my decorating pass, and then we'll come back and sell this house and move on to the Sunny Bungalow. Well, this is the final pass for this property. You'll notice I put some food out on the table. See, I can have the hot dogs, but the burgers, the way they come in the game, don't work for me because, oh boy, is that off? And we'll put a hot dog up there. Anyway, the reason that it doesn't work for me is that their burgers, I mean, obviously it doesn't matter because I'm not going to actually eat them. But in real life, I would not be able to eat these burgers because they have tomato on them. And I am allergic to raw tomato. So this is the living room. The kitchen. A lovely paint painting of some sort. I think that came from the game itself, not from me. And then down here, I added a couple things. I added a pot with some 
plants in it. Uh, and if and when ding, our ding, friends... Ding, I heard somebody wanted ice cream. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. hello. Recording. I know that. Okay. Gee, thanks for uh, assuming All right. I don't know anything. Okay, ice cream. I love Thank you, though. You. Yeah, I you're love welcome. you, too. Wow. So I'm doing the last tour of this house. I have <laughs> done the decoration pass. And too bad Merck's not here. Oh, uh, what was that? Oh, passive aggressiveness? Oh, hello, Merck. Hello. Why did you think Merck? Why are you going to stop recording when Matthew came in? Well, because I really he's didn't going, want to. Is ice cream a government secret? Oh, no. Yeah, it is. Jack Kennedy's coming after us. No. It is. It's a secret. Like okay, a so I did. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I did the final decoration pass on this house. Oh, I love decorations. This was the forest cabin. Yes. Hello. Hello. It was the forest cabin, but I tore that down. And in, in case you're wondering why I do that, I don't know. To me, it seems that building a house that just hangs around forever isn't complete somehow. Ah. So, anyway, so I've added a place to put the garbage cans. And if we go around the back, this is something I already showed everybody, but I'll show you. Mm. I built a platform and on the platform we have a hot tub Ooh. because now there are hot tubs in the game and we've got lots of lights out Does here we can do james brown celebrity hot tub there you go yay there you go and you saw the rest of the house you saw the inside right i got a pizza here pizza pizza isn't it funny we had pizza earlier isn't it maybe that's what made me do it yeah. this uh Cats. Yeah, Maybe it's new wallpaper funny. they gave us. Yeah. And then over oh, here look, on the wall it's here, look, it's, it's Sheriff Woody. that is Sheriff Woody and Buzz, Buzz, Buzz and... Michael Myers. Yeah, sure. From Halloween 2. Okay, now, if you say so. That, that was my costume. Oh, is that what that was supposed kinda, to be? Kind of. It was... Okay. I just kind of threw together That's pieces of costume. That's a really old picture. I know. I look like a child. And so do child. they. And... No. Just think, the older of these two is old enough to drive a car now. Don't remind me. I, I'm kidding. I, okay, I, honestly, I'm over here we have that. a picture. Yeah. Oh, and down cellar. Yes. I picked this house on purpose because it has oh, a cellar. Good. If we go down cellar, we've got some decorations as well. We've got a plant wow. over here. Ooh, plants. And this. It's, it's, it's a random couple. A random couple. I'm kidding. I... It's you and your dad. Yep, that's who it's it is. Wedding day. That's our wedding day. Well, I think that was it's a while ago. To go. I think so. Oh, and there's a bathroom in here too. Oh, okay, on it. That's nice. Okay. I like the green. So now I think we've done everything. I just want to make sure that we actually got sound on this, and then mm -hmm. we are going to sell uh, it. We have sound. Are I can see sure? the mic going. See the levels? Yeah. Bouncing up and down I like a ball. I see it, <laughs> but. I just want to double check. I understand. <laughs> Technology is funny like that. Well, yeah. Hey, uh, I heard a rumor that there's a bunch of chocolate for Merck recordings. Yeah, I heard that too. Oh, I wonder if we'll hear them today. We just might. Mm. And we... Before, before I go, I must say, if you like these videos, be sure to leave a like. And if, and if you like this channel, be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends. And Matthew, what is your part? Oh, if you think they'll like the video as well, share it with them too. Yeah. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. And notice I actually put a roof on this house. Wow. Are you ready to sell? Uh, yeah. So am I. Um. We're going to sell the house. That's mm. how much we spent. Wow. Let's put it up for auction. Oscar's going to be the most. You think? Wow, I was right. I was, I was making you a joke. You actually were I right. I did it. I, I actually predicted it well. I did it. Yeah. Correct. We're going to make. Mm. Four hundred. Uh, blah blah blah. One hundred seventy-three thousand four hundred eighty-three in dollars. profit. Dollars! Yay! In profit. I'm saying dollars. Okay, no say one dollars. No stop me. Shall we confirm? Yes. All right. 
sold. So, now that we're done here, yeah. what do we always say? Look, we is a weird game. Mm, that's true. However, what we always say is oh, yeah, ch chocolate, chocolate for, for Merc. That's what we always say. Oh, and let's not forget Allie. Uh, uh, okay. Um, chocolate cho for Allie. Cho cho oh, okay. Um, let's try it again. Yeah. Cho chocolate, chocolate for, for Allie. Allie. We should, one more time. We have to be excited. Okay. Cho chocolate for, for Allie. Allie. See, that sounds better. Hooray! I love chocolate. See, that sounds better. Okay. Now you left out. All righty. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I think that looks so much nicer than the original yeah, house. The okay, so we are done with this one, and I do have another one to show you. We're going to be going back to our house. And from there, I'm going to take you to uh, the second place that I have for you today. It's called, it, well, originally it was the Sunny Bungalow. And Malzi and I were going to use that. We were going to tear it down and build fresh for Mother's Day. And then you changed your mind. But then we changed our minds and decided to do it in the sandbox instead. So I finally got around to, I had torn down the place. I finally got around to building it. And we're actually going to take a look at it today and finish it on Thursday. Because it's a fairly large house and there's a lot to be done yet. So let's go there. Hey Matthew, how come you haven't left yet? Uh, because I think, well, oh, gee, and here I thought you wanted to see the other house. Oh, I mean, uh, Mark? Yeah, well, okay. Me, buddy. So this one still needs a roof. Would you like to take a nap while I watch uh, while I look at the house quickly? Yeah. Yeah, come and see the house. Yeah. Some of it is done, a lot of it still needs to be done. This is the mm. new building. Oh, I see. And like I said, this one needs a roof still. Mm. Ooh, no. But if we go in, well, I suppose I could put a, a I mean, place apartment, up there. These are apartment buildings that usually have roof like. That is true. That is true. So if we go through this doorway, we've got a kitchen here. Mm, and nice. through here, we have to figure out what to put in this room mm. and this room. This well, room is also accessible from outside, which I thought can was kind of cool. Can I see the first cool. room again? Sure. That's a hallway. You might want to go with, like, white walls. Okay. And then over here is the kitchen. Hmm. And I really rather like this. Um, I, I never noticed this furniture set before. Hmm. I really like it. It's nice. And then upstairs, hmm. we've got room for bedrooms. Yeah. Getting better at putting the stairs in place, too. That's good. Um, this is a room. Ha ha. Oh. Now, that's the second time <laughs> I've I've suddenly seen an empty square. It happens. It's weird. I guess we're going to have to copy well, it. it. Oh, wait. It's empty, I guess. Yeah, the other one is empty. Okay, okay so in here... I was thinking that this would make a good office. Mm. And then we have a deck out here mm -hmm. with a picnic table. It's a good thing this is an house number one. Yeah, why is that? Because then you have a grappling hook to break in. Oh, yeah, right. Um, this is a picnic basket that we can put stuff in. Then you can go full thief simulator. Yes, exactly. I've never played that. Don't it's do you okay. have it? I have it, yeah. I'll have to give it a shot someday. It's okay. And then through here we've got another room hmm. and another room. This this one's going to be a bedroom, I believe. Okay. I don't know what this is going to be. Maybe a bathroom. It's a blue room. Yeah, you know what? We need a bathroom. I don't know if there's one down here. No, there is. I'm pretty sure there isn't one down here. Hmm. So that would be a good place for a bathroom, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll put a bathroom there. But anyway, so this one is not going to get sold today. It's going to get finished on Thursday. Mm. I think what I will do is finish doing the wall treatments and then come back and we'll 
do some of the furniture. Furniture. Goodness gracious. We'll mm. do some of the furniture together. Mm. What do you think? Okay. All right. So that'll do it for now. We're going to pause so I can eat my ice cream. Yeah. Why are we eating mine? Yep. So we'll be right back, folks. It's time to get a little help from our friends. What do we always say? Chocolate for Merck! Okay, so we are back. And there are several things that, well, first of all, let me show you what I've done. This was like this. And the kitchen was finished as it is now. I did do the walls in this room white as uh, Matt suggested yesterday. I have not decided what to do with this room yet and I need to hear from you. What do you think this room should be and how do you think I should do the walls? Should I paint them? Should I put up wallpaper? What would you suggest? I would very much like to hear your suggestions. Well, for one thing, because it's more interesting that way. I still say I really like that, those cabinets. Anyhow, let's go upstairs. I realize that the one thing we don't have, we didn't have at the time I made the first part of this recording in this house. Oh, by the way, I added this shoe bench. Uh, the one thing that we did not have in this house was a bathroom. There were none. Absolutely none. Now, I made a little reading area here. We're going to fill these shelves with books. And this room is going to be a uh, an office. An office. And behind this door, we now have a bathroom. And the bathroom has a sink and a shower. I suppose I should probably try for a tub, but eh, for now, no. I've seen homes that only have showers and no, no bathtubs. As a matter of fact, when I was a little girl, um, my dad's mother had a house in the Bronx, New York, and she actually was living in an apartment in the basement of the house and renting out the upstairs. And she had only a shower in her apartment. Now, this is going to be a bedroom. I really like the way this one look, this room looks. And you notice we've got several places where we're up one step. This room is finished. I like this little reading nook. I like the way the bathroom turned out. Oh, come on, closed door. And as I said, this is going to be an office. And the office actually leads out, if you'll notice, to the picnic area. And the picnic basket here was added with the fairy tale house. Just, you know. Okay, so another question that I need input for. Should I put a roof on this home or should I leave it like some apartment buildings in New York City have just a flat roof? Should we leave the roof flat? Should we add a roof? Um... We are going to finish this home on Thursday. Really kind of like the way this turned out, too. With this step up here. Okay, so on Thursday, and there's another little spot that for some reason suddenly has no flooring on it. I had a couple spots on the walls that had no wallpaper. And I don't understand what's going on here. Because I could understand if an entire wall was left 
not finished. But these little one square here, one square there areas, that I find strange. And another strange thing I had happen this morning when I started up the program was that, we don't need that anymore, was that uh, it said, we noticed that you, your game crashed yesterday. Maybe your graphics are set too high. You want to set it to the lowest possible graphics? Now, I've been playing this game since it came out last December. I've had it set at the highest possible graphics level all that time. I have a machine that is more than capable of using the highest level graphics. And as far as I know, the game did not crash yesterday. So I'd love to know what caused that problem. Only because I'd like to get it fixed. Anyhow, this is going to be the living room. Or maybe it should just be an entryway and this should be the little living room over here. That's something that I'm going to have to hear from you about. As I said, I would very much like to get your input on this one. I think I'm going to call it here for today. I'm enjoying this house. And I know I've said this multiple, multiple times. But one of the reasons that I like to buy a property, tear it down, and build a new building is the simple fact that there are no empty lots in this game. And yes, I know we have sandbox mode. And I know that you can do anything you want to in sandbox mode. However, to me, I, I still feel that part of what's, what gives you a score in the game is how much money you make when you sell it. And when you build something in sandbox mode, you don't get to sell it afterwards. So anyhow, that's going to be it for today. And let me just finish today's Chocolate video by saying, Mark. what do we always say? Chocolate for Mark. I'll see you on Thursday. And let me ask one more time, what do we always say? Chocolate for Merck.